Hello there. Would you like to learn about microfluidics? Do you know what microfluidics is? If not, it's totally fine because today we're going to learn a lot about this. Right? First of all, I would like to go over the properties of fluids at the micro scale. Micro scale is everything we can see without using a microscope. So basically we can see. Right? First of all, I'm going to get some uh, food coloring. I gotta put it on this speaker. So what do you think is gonna happen? Right? We have seen this before so many times. They are going to mix, right? We're going to get just one color. And if we do the same for you know using red, it's basically the same. We get just one color. And that is the property of fluids at the macro scale they mix, and that property is, uh, property is called turbulent flow, right? So then I'm going to put this together in one bigger, and you can see they totally mix. The fluids, um, they travel in all directions, they mix up, that's how they behave at the micro scale. Then we also have fluids at the micro scale. So basically, microfluidics is the study of fluids at the micro scale, how they behave, how they run inside a microfluidic device. And I have one right here. So if I put this syringe, you can see that the fluids behave differently. You're not gonna get just one color. You're gonna get two colors running side by side, and that property is called laminar flow. That's a property for fluids at the micro scale. And I have a picture right here showing that. Tubular flow, they go in all directions, mixing up and then laminar flow, they travel side by side, parallel, they don't get to mix. Right? I have here some examples of microfluidic devices and the design. We can change the shape, change the size. Scientific at the university are doing research on bacteria and how you can study them at, at their own scale and that's why they're using microfluidic devices, so just the one we have here. Other applications we have lab on a chip, which is basically testing bacteria. We also have inject printers, which are basically uh, daily applications that we can actually see. And then we have the glucose meter, which is basically another microfluidic design. You need a really small sample, just like the one I have here, less than a drop. And with a, just a, with a really small sample of blood, you can actually see the results in a glucose meter. That's a microfluidic device. 